So I walk in the woods with my favourite little doggy. And this new path I've discovered down here. So I'm two and a half minutes away from my front door to Doggy Woods. I'm going to call it Torby's, Torby's Run or something like that. So I don't know. Torby's Walk, Torby's Track, Torby's Path. That's going to be it, Torby's Path. And there's woodpeckers up there. And there's black cat just nesting around the corner there. Wrens, robins and kingfishers about three, four minutes away from my front door. And normally I'd have been going mad for photographs and stuff of them. But I've been dead good. I've left them alone and I know they're there. And I wanted all the chicks this year on the branch all four of them lined up, or five of them all lined up, but I've been good, I've left them. Been down about three times, four times, and the whole time they've been nesting. And that's it, not disturbed them. Anyway, where's Toby? Toob! He's there, uh, he's happy enough. So, springing you back around, I've quite surprised myself this year. I was really going to get into it like exploring this landscape around here and just find out where everything is like nests and I would look for sparrowhawks I was going to look for the um, buzzards and do them as well and I've not been bothered the only things I do know is what I've noticed without actually seeking you know, you see sometimes, you, or you just keep bringing the dog for a walk or whatever, and you notice something's always there. I'm quite surprised myself. But I've been to loads of RSPBs with my wife, and I've had some brilliant days. I've seen birds this year I've never seen. I've seen some that are rare to see, yellow hammers, Sherwood Forest, North Wales, I've been to Dempson Cliffs is a good one, very good, especially when you get close to gannets and puffins. Not the best place for puffins, but a good place for puffins. Apparently the Fine Islands is good. I've got to watch it down here now. Because this is where Toby Dog will go straight into the river, I don't keep an eye on him. And he thinks he's going swimming. Between me and you, he's not. Now we're getting to where the kingfishers are. So all I'm doing now, I'm having a quick flyby just to see if there's anything happening. I'm on a walking past and that is it. That is a song for us. That is a wren. And the other one's a blackbird now. I'm just going to be quiet a minute. Can't see anything. I'm at the side of the river now. Right. Toby's getting a bit excited. Toby. Toby. Come here. Tubbs, I've got to put him on the lead. Toby, come here. You're not going in that water today, she'll kill me. No, Toby, come here. You can't go in the water, I'm sorry, mate. I really am sorry, but you can't go in the water. Come on. Anyway, dog on lead. But I'm still now looking for these kingfishers now, or at least they're probably fledged now and buggered off. Never to well one year maybe I will concentrate on them a bit more. But for now I'll just let them be. And this is where Toby likes to swim but he's not going in. Oh dear, come here pal. Toby's path. No, you're not going in son, come on. Toby. 
Oh, look at him. What is there? He's inches from it. He's gutted. No, we're not going in. Come on. I know. Look at the face. We can't get you dry, mate. Come on. What the hell? We're going for a wander. Can you get up there? Go on. That's it. He got up. He got up. Calling me out names under the sun right now. But across there, and this is purely for me this, there's foxes. There's also foxes over there. And now it's clearer more than ever that they've been digging. Never noticed it before, but I have seen movement and I know someone that feeds them. Sorry about swirling, he's just tangled me up with lead. Down here we have goosanders, mandarins. All this just from observing. And if you don't know what something is, what do you do? You find out. Books, asking people. Nowadays, social media. Dead easy. What's this bird? Man, I know. I know enough to be dangerous. Let's just say, let's just say that. I do quite all right. I've almost seen him here now. I'm not going to twirl again because he's locked me up. Toby, you fall down there, you're going to be you're going to be sore, aren't you? Come on. Get him. He's gutted. Water. Water. I want to go in. I know mate, I know, I'm gutted for you. It's me again. All these leaves here, it's only about four o'clock and quite overcast but it's really dark in here and you'll notice how rubbish the image quality probably is well this is just for me this and Julie and Toby that water there will be quite deep it'll be, be about five foot deep that I reckon I know the corner bit is. They've been in. Alright, come on, Tobes. I'm going to let him off the lead again now because he can't get access to the water around here. And the last time I took him down, and I think I was filming on my phone. Come here, Tobes. And I didn't keep an eye on him, taking him off the lead. And guess what he did? Oh, he's just chasing a blackbird now at three mile an hour. He uh, went in, went paddling. So I had to sit with him in this spot here for about an hour while he semi jived off. Anyway, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see him, it's slightly raining now, <laughs> but I've been assured that this camera's waterproof, so we'll see, won't we? Don't you just love the sounds of nature? Have you ever stopped and you can concentrate on certain noises? See how many different bird calls you can hear when you do it, when you're walking yourself. Got a chiff chaff over there. I think I've got a song thrush over there. No black cap. There's a wren behind me. There's a blackbird right over there singing. 
My hearing's not that good, but I can hear more. So imagine what you could hear if you was brilliant hearing. And them are the ones you can hear. Not all of them. You're surrounded by birds and you just don't realise it. I don't even realise it sometimes, I forget. And you sit there and you're just like, oh, it's those trees. And if you concentrate enough and look hard enough, you'll see birds coming in and out. And that's just brilliant. It's only the noisy ones, you see. I think it'd be great, and I know I'm going into the realms of fantasy here, but if there was some like magic button you could press and it'd tell you, like say I'm in Norton, Norton now, and you could press a button and it'd say, there are 256 birds or there are 200 or there's 75 blackbirds here there you know like or there are not all the birds all the numbers and it's to exact and you be like wow it's just fantasy and it? it's my mind wandering but you can't beat this oh, yeah. i mean for relaxation Some blackbirds again in front of me on the floor. Apparently, some of the blackbirds you see aren't local blackbirds. They come over from like Europe, Scandinavia, things like that, with the um, what was I going to say, with the red wings and things like that. So they're actually a migratory. Some of the birds. And I believe things like black caps, which are a warbler, they do kind of the same thing. So you'll have some that stay, and I've just got to watch him, and some that fl fly back and forth. I just find that mad. What makes a certain one stay, and what makes a certain other one go? So it's like people, isn't it? Some people like to travel, some don't. What is it? Let's see what he's doing. Come on. Let's have a, a dog bye. That's his. There you go. It's not as warm today, is it? A bit better for you today. There you are, black cap. Come on. Talk about the black cap. Something else has come in my mind then. I know a couple of photographers that I've never seen a black cap and I'm like wow and it's not because they're bad photographers or they're bad bird watchers it's just that some people can't hear the call some people don't know the call and some people just simply don't realize there's more of them about them you think and they don't so they don't look for them because they think well no I'll never see one of them but in fact this little walk I'm doing now with Toby, probably what past five or six, I know past two. And they're just they're really, really common. Like chiff chaffs, really common. And like willow warblers. There's something flying over there. So many birds we can hear again. The magpie at the top, so the Bennett side. Dad always used to say, like a clockwork toy, the call. So you wind it up and let it roll. Yeah, something's just gone off from here. Mad, isn't it? I keep threatening to go and do a dawn chorus. I should really do it, really. I think I've just heard a great spot of woodpecker. Now, not the knock, but the one pip call.
Yeah. That's a woodpecker. Great spotted woodpecker. People don't know it. Instead of blue tit. Imagine you could identify any bird by its call. There are people that can do that. But I just seem to forget them every single year. I'm getting a bit better. I forget a lot. But what I do when I'm bird watching now, because I know quite a few, is um, I listen, obviously. And if there's one I don't recognise a song, I know it. I mean, I know I don't recognise it. I'm like, whoa, well, that's new. Or at least I don't know what the call belongs to. And that's when I'm like, oh, that's me interested peak then. I'm like, I've got to find out what that is. And I don't always find it. But that's how you learn things. Remember years ago, I was chasing this bloody bird all over the bloody woods because of this call. And I'm like, I've got to know what that is. And it was a chaffinch. And although I'd learnt it, I'd never forgot the call because it was like a bit of an anticlimax because it was a chaffinch. Hang on a minute. Get him. But I've never forgot the call since then. We've got dogs coming, I might have to put them on lead. Oh. I think there's a magpie nest. Or oh, was a magpie nest. Have you seen him? Clear path there, right? Where does he go? Through that bit. Tobes. Give up on the water, you're not going in. I think I have to work on my camera skills. I'll need to get a selfie stick, I think. <coughs> if you all you do is look at my ball patch. Hi, I'm Jason, doing bird watching. Yes, uh, oh, what a lovely day. Oh, look at Robin. <laughs> I'm still going to get one. Wear a cap. Hmm. I'll paint the top of my head with shoe polish like they used to. I'll wear a wig. I'll do a comb over. Ooh. <laughs> oh dear, I'm losing it. Oh. Canada geese. You won't be able to see it. One's got some grass stuck. There yeah. I did see a kingfisher come across here, not today, but a few weeks ago. And I thought it might be nesting round here. And I meant to stalk it and I just have a look, but I just didn't. How are we doing, son? We're doing all right, come on. Come on, let's get up this hill. Get him, bless him. Tongue's out. I know, I know. Come on, you're doing well. Oh, I can't go up here, Jason. This is the way back. For me. A little mini circle route. I want to wait on this bench. Right here. Let Toby get his breath back. Toby, you enjoying it, aren't you, son? Yeah, he's looking for a route down to the river, look. What are you looking for a route for? Don't even think about it. Camera look here. Oh, Toby! Quite impressed. I've been doing a little bit of walking and cycling recently. I just done my job today, so that's why I'm not doing it. I'm just walking dog today. And I'm not getting as out of breath as I used to do. And that was quite a little 
climbing and normally that path I've just gone. I've been breathing a lot worse now. I'm not doing bad. Positive signs, small steps. Exercise. You get so much fitter. It's quite quicker than you think. There's a lot of those back here. It's quicker than you think. Just by two or three times a week, well, three times a week, and out of breath for half an hour. And that's all it takes. It's not birds here. Chiff chaff right over there. Isn't it weird when you go in some parts of woods? And apparently there's nothing about. But there is a lot of squirrels around here. And squirrels eat birds' eggs. Maybe even chicks. So, and the birdies, and they're just saying, I'm not nesting there. I'll have no chicks left. It's been interesting doing this. I'm not, uh, I've not done this for a little while. And this is kind of a practice um, for me, but I'll, for me, Julie, I'm testing this new camera out. The Osmo Action. So we'll see what it's like. I think I'm going to upload it onto YouTube on one of my sister brother channels. Where is it? And I can look back on it then. Tobes, come on, mister. I'm just going to feel the. Well, it's warm, but it's not boiling. That's fine. Come on. Oh dear. Get that slava off you, I'm not doing it. I'll have to stick your head in some grass. What's this? That's it, get it twagged on something. Usually this is a good way to do it. What's this? Tell me, what's this? What's this? What's it? Get that off your bloody chin. It's minging. Come on, that's it. What's this? I can't get it, it's stuck to him. Oh, Toby, it's minging that. Toby! I'm going to have to edit this video now. And what's this? Here, stick. Stick. Oi, pickle. I don't want that. Alright, sorry about the shaky footage. Oh, look at him. Up the hill we go. Now on a gradient, we're on a gradient here. Don't look it, does it? There's your gradient. <clears throat> I rode up here on bike the other day. Can't even walk up here at the moment. So, the video ends in a few minutes. So, how's that for a new perspective? Slightly out of breath now. Not doing too bad. Got the sports gear on, so I have to act all sporty, don't I? Ooh. Need to get fitter. I'm going to just carry on now. Play some music. Where is he? Is he behind me? Can hear him. Sounds like a bleeding steam through him. At the Orange Express. Bless the Express. Yeah, I can tell jokes, you see. Let's have a look at this now. I'm not doing bad. Nearly at the top. Poor Toby. Oh, 
come on son. You've done it, you've done it. Uh, I can you now, I won't go, go back and get you dinner. <coughs> so, that's it. Walk through the woods with Toby. What's the date? 17th of June. Just had my COVID jab, my second one. 2021. See you later. Ha, ha, ha.